The electromagnetic force is responsible for the movement of negatively charged electrons around the positively charged nucleus because unlike charges attract one another. The protons in the nucleus being like charges should repel one another but the nucleus still stays intact. So there seems to be another extremely strong interaction due to which the nucleons are able to counteract the repulsive electromagnetic force between them. And there is. The nucleons are baryons made up of three elementary particles called quarks. We are concerned about two properties of quarks here, flavor and color. And these are just the terms given to some quantum properties. The six flavors of quarks in the order of their increasing mass are up, down, strange, charm, bottom and top. All of them have their corresponding antimatter equivalents. The up and down quarks are more stable because they have a lower mass. The proton for simplicity is shown to be composed of two up quarks, each of charge plus 2 by 3, and a down quark of charge minus 1 by 3. The manifestations of color are red, blue, green, and their anti-colors. We've seen that a proton is made up of at least two identical up quarks. But the Pauli exclusion principle states that no two identical objects can simultaneously occupy the same quantum state within a quantum system, here a proton. So I saw this video for nothing? No, the quarks making up the same hadron must have different colors. Thus, even if two quarks have the same flavor, they will not be identical because they have a different color. A gluon carries the color charge and an anti-color charge of the strong interaction, thus acting as an exchange particle. This is analogous to the photon, which is the exchange particle of the electromagnetic force between two electrically charged particles. If a gluon needs to be emitted from a quark of red color and absorbed by a quark of blue color, it carries the red color charge of the first quark and the anti-blue charge to cancel the blue color charge of the second quark. The first quark now holds the blue charge. These exchanges simultaneously happening between the three quarks maintain the balance of color charges, making the proton overall color neutral. The strength of the electromagnetic force decreases with distance, which is principally infinite. The strong nuclear force increases as the two quarks are pulled apart. What? Still a very small distance about 0.8 centimeter. Analogous to stretching a rubber band, a quark can be pulled away from the proton till a certain distance after which the tremendous energy required to achieve the separation is immediately converted into mass in the form of a quark-anti-quark -quark pair called a meson. The meson can reach another nucleon and such exchanges create a residual strong force binding the nucleons together and this is how the nucleus stays intact.